In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to include an additional game template alongside with an existing game template, such as a first person or a third person. So you can prototype in one or the other. So for example, if you have a first person game template, you can add a third person and then jump between the two and play test from each of the play mechanics. So you can run around your environment as one or the other. And I do this to every project I create because I like to be able to prototype in both and see how the environment plays out in either first or third. So let's get to it. In this project, I included the first person template. So you can see here inside the content browser, I have first person folders already created, and this was added by Unreal Engine automatically. But let's say I want to add a way to play test also in third person. So that way I can switch between first person and third person anytime I want. So in this case, I'm going to add a third person template into this existing first person game template. To do this, first you of course have to have a project already created and either have chosen third person or, or first person, one or the other. It'll work both ways interchangeably. And then you simply add the template that you want to include on top of an existing template. So I'm going to go to add, go all the way up to add feature or content pack, choose blueprint, and then add which template do I want to add on top of existing template. And in this case, it's going to be third person. So I'm going to select this, click add to project, and let Unreal add everything that it needs into this existing project. And you might have seen already content browser was auto populated with the folders that it needs. So let's go ahead and close this or cancel it because we already added that in. And here I have third person folders and characters folders. It added everything that I needed into this project. So now because my original template for this project was first person, if I go ahead and spawn, I will be in first person mode. Now to switch over to a third person and prototype and play test from third person game template, you simply need world settings. And if you don't see this tab, you can uh, get access to it by going to window and enabling world settings. And then it'll be right here next to the details panel. Switch over to world settings and then under game mode override, use the drop down menu and switch over to BP third person game mode. Once you do, if you spawn, you will spawn as a character. And because you already had all the key bindings pre-programmed into the first person and they're similar to the third person such as w moves you forward s moves you back a and d makes you move left and right it works exactly the same way for the third person so you don't need to fix any key bindings at all it'll work automatically so now if you want to switch back over to first person you simply change the game mode back to bp first person spawn and you're back in first person and then when you want third person Go to BP third person and spawn. And this will work exactly the same way as if you started with a third person template and then added a first person. And here, just to show you as an example, I opened up a project that I included a third person game template. So here we have characters, third person, and I wanna add a first person playability into this just to see if it works the other way as well. So if I go ahead and spawn, I will spawn out as a third person character. So let's uh, repeat the steps. So now I'm going to go to add, add feature or content pack, and I will now add first person. Let's go ahead, add it. Let's go ahead and close this now. If I spawn, I'll still be in third person, of course. But because I've added the first person blueprint, I'm going to override the game mode to first person. And let's spawn. And here I am as a first person. So it works exactly the same way, the other way as well. So this is how you add a third person uh, game template into first person and vice versa. So this way you'll be able to prototype in either game mode interchangeably within the same project.